should apologize to Kaine and Emil. But... What good would that even do? I got a fire going, Kaine. Wait, is that... Campfires are weird, aren't they? <laughs> I'm so happy to get to talk to you again, Kaine. Yeah, me too. I tried everything I could think of to save you, you know. I polished you with a special cloth. I poured warm water over you. I... Wait, you poured water on me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it didn't really do much except make you all shiny. <sighs> hey, Emil. Thanks for saving me. I guess you noticed how I look different now. I'm sorry, Emil. I'm sorry for all of it. Well, I mean, this new form isn't all bad, you know? At least I can look at you when we talk, right? Hey, so why don't you tell me something about yourself? I'm not very interesting. Sorry. Come on. I just want to know you better. Please? <laughs> Fine. This all happened when I was a kid. Before the whole shade possession thing. My body is... different. And when the villagers found out about it, they started treating me like a freak. But one person, my grandmother, accepted me just as I was. No matter how bad things got, she gave me the strength to keep going. She's really special to you, huh? Yeah. Oh, hey! That gives me an idea. Since we cured your petrification, we should start looking for a way to cure your possession and my body. I know we can do it if we all work together. <laughs> Heck, it'll probably be super easy. Let me guess. More warm water? Okay. Can we just forget I told you about that? <laughs> <laughs> They're adorable. tell a different tale <laughs> don't be so hard on yourself lad I need to go see Devola and Popola very well very well all right so now we're gonna do the gestalt DLC so here we go what might that be? It's Mom's diary. Hmm. I have not heard you speak much about your mother. She got the Black Scrawl and died when I was little. Hmm. My apologies for bringing it up. It's alright. I can barely remember her face anymore. Damn. This is the only thing I have left of her. Reading it helps remind me of when we were still a family. Is that an illusion, or is it like, does he actually have family? But the final entries get a little... strange. Strange? In the Okotaro game? Never heard of it. In what way? Well, here. Take a look. Say there. Hmm. Can you not hear me? Why are you standing about like a slack-jawed ninny? Sorry. Felt like I was 
dreaming or something. Oh, sleeping on one's feet is quite the talent indeed. Come now, there's the door. Right. Let's go. Whoa. So if if you didn't know this, this is the Xbox 360 like non you know Japanese version of the game. You played as Papa Nier, as they called him. Where you instead of the brother, you are a father instead uh, for Yona. Uh, and deeper voice, all that older, you know, kind of, yeah, pretty cool, right? Um, so we play in our sim. That's uh, this should be cool. There's this door, and this is where we get all three of the weapons. Proceed beyond this point, and you will be unable to save until the battle is over. Do you want to go through the door? Yes. Should be interesting. Plus the music's gonna be- the music's gonna be... different. This is the world of the recycled vessel, created to avoid destruction of all. Oh boy. There's no filters, this is how the game plays. Everything's changed. Super cool. So that was saturated too. I'm going to change my abilities. Do um That's how we'll do it. You can actually assign all trigger buttons and the bumpers to magic. I like having a block button. And a dash button. Oh boy. Rock music intensified. Oh. Supposed to be difficult. That's easy. Black scrawl, a lost destiny, a white book, a false truth. Oh, it's the mansion. What a trip. What a trip. Reminds me of Dragon Guard's music. I ain't gonna lie to you. Dragon Guard 3. I mean, I can't really see anything. So I can't hard to tell. Mm. 
soldiers of assault calling forth white death. They are legion, those are who plunge the world into darkness. That's a library. The music's lit though. I even look. In the one hand sword, fools embrace. The dragon's corpse brought death to the world, delivering unto the power of magic. Dragon guard once ending E. Well, she fell through the sky. The beginning of the game, uh, the game of my playthrough, I showed that exactly what happened. And the magic I'm currently using looks just like it. it's magic. It brought unto, it brought magic unto them. Or however that saying goes, I forgot. I think that's what this DLC was trying to, to emulate. I'll play those games one day. Maybe on stream. I'm assuming if they don't get remastered or not. A way of knowing. The black sickness stains the future. They the journey they journey to return their soulless vessels. Hey. I'm trying to block it. It's me. I'm missing. I got this, don't worry. There we go. Oh, damn. That's what that looks like. <laughs> From that angle. Holy oh, shit. It's green. Is this supposed to be easy? I don't like. No. Oh shit. I'm not getting hurt. Is my weapons are overpowered? Could be. Oh. The Kabuki. I already had it because I played the game before. <laughs> All right. That was that one. There's going to be three total of doors. This is the second one. Hold up, shutties now. You know what? We can go. We can go classic Dragoon Lance, the one of the strongest weapons in Dragon Guard. Sure. Level two. Or door two. The apocalypse divided the world into two. One that knows not day and one that has never seen the night. When the world got attacked and blown up. That's why there's no nighttime. Magic spewing back. Uh, Whoa. Magic's being back. Got it. Did I 
Nakawa. Black and white, 13 packs, the vessels form, waver, and they cross time and space. This is the ZLC is literally explaining the ending E and the, the bridge between Drakengard and Garden near. This is purple. Ooh, we can tell that one hurt. We can tell that one tomorrow. Ooh, skip -a. What a bop. That's about to be a hurting. So close to go. I don't really know where we're going. This looks correct. It seems we have been shut in. Shut in. This is awesome. Oh, purple, purple. I have to melee those. The song of man has been dr drowned out, and it's place to scream of something inhuman. The near universe is amazing. The Dragon Guard near universe, so cool. There's Dragon One and Three. Dragon Guard One and Three uh, connected to near, and near Automata as well. It's also called Nero Camp, but yeah. Um, Nero Gestalt and Nero Camp are the same game. Let's call them Nier. Same thing. Just minor tweaks. But those are connected. They say, re they say reincarnation as well. Oh, I never played that game. It's a gotcha. I've got a bit of them. But basically this DLC is just gonna be combat. What's the minor story little transitions that you've been seeing? <laughs> Things hurt. Fool's Limits. The sky falls with the dragon. The world ends this day. Ooh. Oh, where are we? <laughs> Puppet priest collects the cursed prayers and polishes the vessel. Oh, this is 
is going to be... Oh, it's cool. That's so bright. I got we started. Okay, that was an experience. Turn the samurai outfit. Well, we have one more to go. door where are we interesting the final door I think So long as the memory exists, so long as mankind is hope, a bloody battle will wage war over the holy domain of the body. There's nothing here. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Well, oh, guys, we'll get you. Next stage, please. Foolish human, foolish human, foolish human, foolish, best soul. Oh. Always paid, always sacrifice. This sword's heavy, man. You can feel it. That the spear fools of cold. Do not bring back the light, do not bring back the vessel, do not bring back the future, do not bring it back. Oh, 
shit. Oh, it's everywhere. Well, that hurts a lot. Challenge! Yes. Oh, don't want to be there. It's time to absolutely dunk. I'm blue. Hell yeah. I have double damage, and I can take half damage from his, uh, his attacks. Which are fire, but they're magical. Because, you know, I'm out of freaking nowhere. Every beam of light is an invitation to death. Oh no, I remember this one. Oh my gosh, I remember this shit. Isn't that cool though? Hit me, I dare you. That's way too early, way too early. There we go. Damn, you can tell that one hurt. I am popping there. I'm here to kick your ass. I want you to, I want you to talk more. Can you unblock me? That's fine. Holy. Yeah, he. This was down here? No way, I don't remember seeing that. Think about shades. They can come from literally anywhere as long as it's shady. I suppose that's where they got the name from. Oh. Okay, right off. Mm. Boss music. <coughs> oh. Oh no. The main threat is me falling off. On the own. Got him in the face. In the face. Oh. I'm gonna run on heels. <laughs> Sweating. Uh, that was literally so difficult. <laughs> a dreaming vessel in a recycled world. What does that mean? Until the time its awakening, awakening comes. Is that all? It helps. Huh? Is that the final entry of the diary? 
It seems that way. <laughs> Interesting. You figure anything out? I fear not. Uh. Yeah, I'm not surprised. All right. So guys, that will con this will conclude. This will conclude the Gestalt DLC. We played as Papa Nier, the Xbox 360 version of the, the Nier character, main character. And we played through the recycled worlds in a recycled vessel. And this is basically a challenge DLC with three stages, but I, that was fun. Music was cool and things would change, so. I guess in the next episode we will be completing ending E of the game. And we'll be finished with Nier Replicant. So anyway guys, I'll see y'all next time in the next episode.